Imagine a legacy, 51 years strong, protecting India's wild heart. That's the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. But is it still the shield we need? This act, it's more than just laws. It's a framework, a lifeline for our diverse species. Think of it as a detailed guide with schedules that determine the level of protection. Schedule 1. The VIP list. Endangered species like the snow leopard and black buck with the toughest penalties for violations. Schedule 2. High priority protection where trade is strictly off limits like the majestic Indian cobra. Schedules 3 and 4. Protected but with a bit more flexibility like the graceful cheetah or the vibrant flamingo. Schedule 5. The controversial vermin list including species like crows and rats. And Schedule 6. Safeguarding our rare plant treasures, like the unique pitcher plant. But laws alone aren't enough. We have powerful bodies like the NTCA, dedicated to tiger conservation, and the WCCB, fighting wildlife crime. And crucial amendments like the 2022 update, aligning us with the global standards like sites. We face real challenges, human wildlife conflicts, the shadow of illegal trade, and the ever-present threat of climate change. And let's be honest, we need to do more to raise awareness. For UPSC aspirants, this isn't just a subject. It's a responsibility. Know the schedules, understand the amendments, and recognize the constitutional backing. And remember, it's about more than exams. It's about safeguarding our natural heritage. So let's talk about it. What changes do you think are needed to make this act even stronger?